I recently lost my 1500 day hardcore world. What? No! And I made my return with a glorious mega base. The issue is that this mega base is nearly 10,000 blocks away from my temporary base, which has everything I need, such as farms and villagers. So I will bring an end to that by building the ultimate trading island where I have an unlimited amount of villagers ready to take my money and return me goods. This way, I never have to leave this precious beauty. I just set that to a building, all right. There conveniently is a village right over here, but I don't like the terrain of it. However, right across from it is this island, and it looks perfect for my idea. And my idea is a big circle with walls around the villagers' residence and then putting some colorful sheep at the edges because for some reason people seem to really like that. I think this would go a lot faster with speed. You need to get off the platform. That's right. Alright, we are in the creative world and we need to design the wall that we're going to build. That's right, we're not using Lightmatica for this project. I mean, come on, we don't need it. It's minuscule compared to the other projects. Wait, is there a mod that lets me place ladders freely without any support? This is so cool. Alright, this looks quite good. We're gonna save it as wall.png. So this is just the main structure. We are going to have to play around with it once we expand the wall all the way around the circle platform. But before all of that, we need the wall in the first place. So let's go hunt for the materials. Atlantis, you're a genius. I can just go to the stronghold. Can we just talk about my nether roof? It's like an enderman party. I'm gonna look you in the eyes. Ha, <laughs> too late, buddy. This is probably the most Asian thing I've done so far. Robbing a library. That's so scripted. And that's the last one. So first we need something to put the wall on, so we're going to build a ring around the platform. I'm gonna do it with deep slate since the rest of the wall is quite bright on the color palette. What is this madness over here? Watch this. I'm the John Wick of Minecraft. Okay guys, now we need to expand the wall until we are half a quarter out from here because then I'm just going to mirror it and build it over and over so our circle is actually symmetrical. So I'm trying to mimic the design of the main wall. Maybe we should just put logs on all the corner pieces, but that could also not work because the further we go, the more cramped the corners are. This is going to be quite complicated. better than I thought. Ignore those leaves at the top, I used them as scaffolding, but the wall itself actually looks good. Now we just need to repeat that for a couple more blocks. How did this skeleton get up here? Apparently I forgot to start recording and I also wasn't streaming, so I'm going to show it this way. It was difficult to build diagonally, so instead we built horizontally by laying the wall layer by layer and repeating the pattern. And as we can see, we are a little over half a quarter over the circle, which means that once we finish the top layers of the wall, we can just mirror and paste it in. I mean, not literally paste it in, but using Lightmatica. I know I said we weren't gonna use Lightmatica, but I meant it in a pre-designed kind of way. Without it, it would be hard making this wall perfectly symmetrical. Guys, I'm so sorry I forgot to start recording. I've made a selection of the wall and we're gonna have to save it first as wall half 
quarter. Now we're gonna load it in and mirror it. Is this even correct? I don't think it is. Mirror it once again. Nope. Rotate it maybe? Oh, that looks more like it. Now we have to put it in the right direction. You need to go forward by one and one to the left. Is that right? Oh, totally not. We're gonna have to do something with this middle part, but I don't think it's gonna be that complicated. I just did whatever there so we could just merge it together. You know, it's quite fun having smaller scale projects like this. It gives me the chance to talk to you guys. So I'm gonna use this moment to ask you to subscribe. Are you subscribed already? If so, then you are in our minecart zooming to 100,000 subscribers. That is the goal for this year and your finger or mouse can make a difference of when we will hit this goal. So if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button to help us reach the next destination. No, in all seriousness though, how are you? How have you been doing? I hope your day has been great, and if not, then put a smile on your face right now. To our luck, it also started to rain so we can navigate easier, but I think I need to eat some food first. And uh, I know that I'm quite advanced in this world, but we don't have a good source of food, so we're gonna have to hunt for it. I'm sorry this has to happen, sheep. I'm sorry for you too, piggy. I feel less sorry for you, piggy. And at this point, I don't care anymore. I think we've got enough food for a couple of days now, so let's start building the wall. By the way, if you're new to the series and wonder why I'm not sleeping, since the day we started this series, which was two episodes ago, we decided not to sleep in this world to increase the challenge and also have an actual legitimate day count, which is 1063 at the moment. I know, I'm crazy. And also, by the way, welcome to the series. able to walk on the wall would be cool so we're gonna make it a little wider and add a path this is the method to build circles by the way isn't it amazing now that we've built a quarter of the circle we will again mirror it all we need to do is put it in place and bang we obviously need to access the ladder so this needs to go we'll also build the wall before detailing it and it is gonna go by super quickly thanks to my years of finger training in hypixel bed wars while he's doing that i want to share something with you guys i passed college yeah i'm actually done with school completely which is kind of crazy. I remember not even a month ago I was going through a tough time and you guys gave me some very good and mature advice so thank you for that. Anyway it seems like this dude is talking again so I'll go back to editing whatever he's saying. But before the walking platform we need to connect it to these ladder sections which I guess are kind of the main corners of the circle. Yes our circles have corners. I don't really know how to tackle this path but I guess we can begin from the edges. Ooh, I have a better idea but we'll have to get rid of those slabs we just placed. Okay I'm just gonna narrate over this part because I was having quite a hard time talking while also trying to focus on the design of this path. I have no idea what I was trying to achieve here, but I made it almost look like I was building a pool. I obviously got rid of it, and the thing I tried after was the one I liked the most. It's also half a block up, so mobs have no chance of spawning here. I built a little railing with stone slabs, and I placed them over this log. And when I did it for the second time, I noticed and fixed it, but I didn't do the same thing for the other. I really hope that I'll fix it later, because it won't look pretty for sure. I began working on the detailing of those corners, and ended up with some Something that looks like this. Once that was done, I continued the same principle on the other quarters of our circle. Alright, we're taking off the totem. You're gonna follow me, sheep. How are you that slow? Hello? Can you see me? I'm like right here. If you, yeah, there we go. All right, we got our first sheep captured on our island. I will be narrating this again because this is one of the most insane things I experienced and I had no idea I did when I was playing. Basically, I go and get our second sheep to grow the family and he was at the bottom of this hill. So I go on and clear the way for him so he can climb up, but that whole time long, I did not have weed in my hands. So the sheep following me was a mere coincidence. I never noticed this happening during my playthrough and neither did anyone watch the stream pointed out. Anyway, I just thought it was cool. We made it, buddy. Come on. While they do their thing, we're gonna build more circles. After gathering the wheat for the sheep, I got a mod that shows a hologram of a circle and this is way better.
Dude, this location really has something about it. No, sheep, get out of there. To finish this off, let's place lanterns around the place. Finally here guys, the beginning of the trading halls. That's right, we have our island where we built the platform and we have the walls to make it unescapable, unattackable. The vibe we're going to go for is ancient Roman architecture combined with an Atlantis-ish interior. I just really love the prismarine color palette. Oh no, we don't have normal quartz. We're not gonna be able to craft pillars then. We can just use white concrete as a placeholder, it's fine. No, I can't do it this way, we just gotta go mining. We have an inner chest right here and inside we have our shulker boxes. Okay guys, we are ready to begin mining. It's me, narrating Prince again. How are you guys doing? So, I kind of forgot I was recording because we were completely zoned in on stream being detectives on the case of this criminal and therefore I forgot to turn off the window overlay on my screen capture. But I will show this beautiful sunny day to you from another perspective. I began with one of the six entrances to the halls by trying to build an arch and my first idea was to make them circular but soon I changed my mind to make it straight and triangular like the old Roman architecture was. I first filled the triangle with with chis 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 chiseled quartz, but then I decided to visit our guardian farm to grab some prismarine and then put that instead of the quartz. Now the building gives an Atlantic vibe. I updated the arch again and now it looks more subtle. Then I expanded the roof and in the center of the island I built a circle that will be the center point of the hallways. I dug into the ground and put down a floor as well as individual rooms for the villagers. Here I was off stream building, but I wasn't talking, instead I was watching Charlie in the background again. She's better than Amber Heard's lawyer though. Then I give the circle we built a cool floor pattern as well. And I don't know if you noticed, but we're using sea lanterns to light up the place, which also blends in super well with the floor. Now I just had to do the exact same thing, but diagonally. It was really difficult to get the roof right on this one, but eventually it worked. And now, just like the walls, we're gonna mirror the halls a couple times. It's really hard getting this diagonal arch right. If you remember the circle mod we used, it also has a feature for sphere, so we are going to use that and put a glass dome over the center. The halls of the villagers are finally done, meaning we are at the last chapter of this journey. I also put down these nine beacons because they look sick? That's literally the only reason. Of course the beacons were easy to obtain, I just had to grab some skills we obtained thanks to the Wither Skull farm we built in episode 2, and the skills were in my very well organized storage. I really need an auto sorter. No seriously, look at this abomination. I don't know how I'm able to work like this every project, and then we just beat the Wither up a couple times with our sword, or actually slicing like a pie, an apple pie, or actually a cherry pie because I like those. But now we are finally gonna get the villagers, after decorating the place so they feel welcomed. Oh man, it started raining. Well I suppose we seek shelter until it passes. They are going to require a lot of food to breathe so we're gonna have to get that as well. Bro, my temporary base looks like it's Lapland right now. It's hurting my eyes. Guys, I think we have enough food to feed an entire country. So now let's actually get the villagers. There's one issue though. This village next to my island used to have lots of villagers, but somehow they just disappeared. I don't know where they are. I legitimately have no idea. Wait. 
There's no way! Do you know how rare that is? <laughs> Whoa. So, um, we're gonna have to find a new village. And doing that won't be a problem because we have Zero's world map. Oh, there are two villages. Great. Let's see. Are there any volunteers that want to come along with me? Run. Everyone hide. What? Oh, you guys are under attack. Wait, there's actually no one here. Did all the villagers in my world die or something? This door is shut, so maybe there is someone here. Huh. Oh. No, Wait, are you stuck? What? No. Bro, he's actually stuck. Alright, I'ma let you out if you come along with me. Bro. Bro. Bro, get in. Oh, so I have a data pack that lets me jump while in a boat. This is just gonna make the traveling more enjoyable. But to jump, we need a carrot on a stick, so we gotta find some string. <laughs> Why are all of you stuck in these trap doors? Bro, how is this? No wonder I couldn't find anyone. Stop laughing at us, man. This is not pregnant. Well, you guys are lucky because I got a 100% safe and guarded place for you. Wait, really? Yep. Let's go. Finally, I've been searching for you for so long. Oh, and you dropped the perfect amount. No. Oh, I shouldn't have left you in the open. You hungry, buddy? Oh. All right, well, I will at least free you from your killer. Oh, and gift you a pet, apparently. Wait, what? What the... What happened? Good morning. Get in, brother. What the fuck? Trust me, bro. You're going somewhere sick. Oh, God. Okay, let's test this jumping. Yo, that goes so high. All right, bro. What's your name? I'm Juan. Juan? Nice to meet you, Juan. Nice to meet you, too, Pajama Wait, how did you know my name? Yeah, man. Oh... Right. You see that right there, Juan? Yeah. That's your new house, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to build us a bridge. Oh, swift sneak. Juan, don't look, all right? Juan? Bro, you're literally staring right at me. Here, I turned you around. That's kind of childish of you, Juan. Not gonna lie. Bro, you're still looking... Okay. All right, let's go. Now we're gonna get the next villager. Sup, man? Can you get in for me? <laughs> what? Oh... Dude, where are these zombies coming from? All right, there are two of you in here, which is great. Now, if you let me place the boat. Oh, sure, sorry, man. Thank you. So look, I'm gonna bring both of you to a new village. Oh, right? let's go. Yeah, but you gotta wait here until I'm back. Oh, yeah. Bro, this skeleton is so annoying. What? Dude, there's so many mobs. Wait, no. All right, buddy, your turn. Wait, where's Oh, your friend? He's already in his room in the new village. Oh, yeah. So, what's your name? Oh, that rhymes with Perry. It sure does. He's my twin brother. Oh. <laughs> that, um, that's awesome. Guys, this ice is so hard to sail on. We can drift, though. Look at that. Oh, that's the wrong direction. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's pollution skeletons. Ooh. Careful, there are new zombies. It's so fast. Ah. Oh, we just went in between. Oh, ah. what? I pushed them away. Ah. That's better. Here we are. I'm in need of some wool. That should be enough for now. They need to sleep and we can. So, um, I guess we'll just watch the starry sky. Guys, I installed the fresh animations resource pack and this man is snoring. I also installed a better combat mod and it looks horrible without first person. There we go. I also got this third person mod. Okay, we're quickly gonna dye these bets to match the color palette. And now all we need to do is grow the family. But I'm not gonna bore you with the entire process, so I will make a nice cool time lapse edit for y'all. Also, yes, I'm wearing a villager hat. I actually also added a mod so villagers can have different skin colors, so we'll go and get a couple more villagers. However, before everyone starts blasting me with the question, what is your mod pack and texture pack, they are all on my Discord server, or if you just want the mod pack, you can find it as Prince's mod pack on Modernth. Now let's finally make this project come to an end. Pawn. Oh my god, is that you? Oh, what's up, buddy? Guys, there was something every hardcore Minecraft YouTuber had that I didn't, and that will change now. I know that it's low quality, I made it myself. No, my sleep statistics.
So guys, we're crafting a bunch of swords right now because we have a mod that allows us, let me show you, to turn villagers into guards. <laughs> That's so cool. We're gonna see if we can give them diamond swords. Oh, we can. Oh, this guy is holding, oh, buddy, your flower is tripping. Let's also quickly dye all of our sheep. I think we have enough guards. And with that, we are done with the villager trading island. Thank you guys so much for- No. No, we are not ending it here. I need your attention and I want you to listen. Let me rewind. This? is absolutely ridiculous and this should stop because it is killing minecraft content in its entirety i am sure everyone in the community has heard about the concept of the repetitiveness of minecraft content and we've heard many essay channels cover this problem but why are hardcore creators themselves quiet do we really want this game to die out and what is the issue here well i was going to ask one of my creators friends this directly but because he's currently busy with school i will repeat his very own words a part of the problem is of course the algorithm which doesn't encourage creators to experiment with things. This is so correct. The algorithm scares creators away from experimenting with content. We see a concept in which there is success and we don't want to step away from that concept to try something different because we are scared that it will get shut down by the algorithm. But we shouldn't be. We have one of the most complimenting names in the world. Creators. We create things. We use our creative imagination to invent new ideas. A different editing art style, a different way to build a different way to take on a challenge. However, just like my friend John said, it is just a part of the problem. So what is the core problem? What is it that is preventing us from breaking the cycle of content? Well, I invited a very special someone to sit together with and talk about it. I definitely do think there is a problem, but um, to be completely honest, like I thought a lot about this today before I got on here, and that's a pretty loaded question so i mean at a very surface value it appears that the problem is that hardcore youtubers myself included are trying too hard that their their sweats uh that we're attempting to farm views for money i guess would be a way to put it and of course those people do exist but the reality is that i know a lot of hardcore youtubers personally who really hate the direction hardcore Minecraft and Minecraft videos in general have gone. A lot of them would much rather make slower, thought-provoking content, uh, but they know that a lot of the big views, the money makers, and the stuff that puts the food on the table, you know, that comes from retention editing and pumping your video full of crap to keep people entertained for as long as possible. Don't get me wrong, like, I do, I personally believe that editing is a form of art. Uh, it can be a really good way to express yourself, but the core problem we are facing nowadays is that everybody's content, again, myself included, looks identical. Like, if you showed someone three different videos from three different hardcore YouTubers, but instead had a new random person do the voiceovers for all three of those videos, the editing would be so similar that your test subject wouldn't be able to tell those videos apart. They wouldn't be able to tell that those videos were made by three different people. And I try to make my videos different and a bit more tailored to me and my personality, but that doesn't always work. So with that out of the way, to properly answer the question, I, I don't think the problem is necessarily hardcore Minecraft or just Minecraft content in and of itself. I think the problem comes in the form of the lack of personality that comes with retention editing. Um, and that has been created by the increasing amounts of people with short attention spans on the internet. And I'm not blaming the audience or trying to deflect my insecurities about my content onto my followers. I'm simply saying that there seems to be a broader problem across the entirety of the internet, not just hardcore content, where everybody is stuck in this vicious cycle, this loop 
where people's attention spans are lowering. I believe NC made a strong entrance to this discussion. However, I will edit our one hour plus conversation into a different video which will be published on my channel soon. Now I will show you the base for real this time. Thank you guys for watching. Perry. Oh, Perry, your twin brother, right. He's... he's probably, uh... Oh, oh, hello? Hey, where are you going? Dude, quiet, I'm getting called. This is Minecraft, toys don't even exist. Mom? Oh, hi, Mom. I've been good. I actually built an entire village island on it.